So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are, are keeping safe. Uh, let's get straight into it. Guys, um, yesterday I did a, obviously a video about uh, Saunders and Murray, their post-fight reaction. Uh, me and my brother had a bit of an argument. My brother's a big fan of Billy Joe Saunders and if I'm honest with you, I'm not the hu I'm not the biggest fan of Saunders because I feel like I feel like he's a good fighter with good skills, but I do think his resume isn't the greatest. Now my brother thinks he's some he's a great fighter. Uh, he's got some great skills, which I listen. I don't deny Saunders is a good fighter, but I find it hard. I find it very hard to agree with people when they say Saunders is gonna box Canelo's head off. Saunders is going to do this, Saunders is going to do that. If I'm honest with you, I would favour Charlo against Saunders. I would favour Callum Smith against Saunders. I would favour uh, Demetrius Andrade against Saunders. Like some guy said to me yesterday, oh, Demetrius Andrade would box, I mean, sorry, Billy Joe Saunders would box Demetrius Andrade's head off. I don't know where you're getting, I don't know where you're getting this boxing his head off from. Martin Murray was a 38-year-old who was a great fighter in his day, don't get me wrong, I thought he deserved to be a world champion in his in his career. But when you say he'd box his head off, uh, where are you getting this from? Now, for me, Billy Joe Saunders has fought three guys in his career that I would say were three good fights that he had. One was Chris Eubank, who was when Chris Eubank was a British-level fighter, and they were both British-level. That was a split decision. Hardly box Eubank's head off. Split decision. Um, he fought... Andy Lee, right, which was a good fight, which I thought Billy Joe does knocked Andy Lee down, but it was a majority decision and it was a close fight, right? It was a close fight, but Andy Lee, towards the second half of that fight, started doing really well and started getting to Saunders. So his greatest performance came against David Lemieux, but as I said, I don't rate David Lemieux. David Lemieux is a big puncher, but he was already dismantled by Gennady Golovkin and Golovkin knocked out David Lemieux. He beat the crap out of him and Lemieux had been beaten before, by less, lesser men, Rubio beat Lemieux. He, he wasn't exactly, Lemieux wasn't no killer. Lemieux's a limited fighter with limited skill set that has power. There's a difference between a guy that maybe doesn't have the greatest skills in the world, i.e., I, like I explained yesterday, Marcus Maidana. But Marcus Maidana was a big puncher, but he would find a way to impose his will on you. He would find a way to, 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 get to you. Maidana was a quality fighter. That's why Maidana was loved by a lot of boxing fans because Maidana would always make it a dog fight. He'd always give whoever he's fighting a tough fight. You know, we saw that against Amir Khan. We saw that against Floyd Mayweather. Maidana wasn't easy for anybody. And he was a quality big puncher. Didn't have the skills of some of the other fighters, but he had big punching power and he would be, he was a bit like Porter, but with punching power. He would make it relentless, he would make it hard, he would make it tough, but he had serious punching power as well. Lemieux has punching power, but he has very slow feet. He can't he can't get to you. His feet are very slow. And and for me, stylistically, it was an easy fight. Now Canelo's no Lemieux. Canelo's no Lemieux. Canelo's a very, very good counter puncher. He's got a great defense. He's very hard to hit. Billy Joe Saunders might be able to catch him early on in that fight. After when Canelo adjusts to him, Canelo's going to start making him miss. Let's not forget, Amir Khan was a lot faster than, than Billy Joe Saunders. He's a lot faster. Quicker feet, quick hands. And there was about fourth or fifth round. Less, I get it. Amir Khan's a lot slower. I mean, I'm sorry, not a lot slower, but a lot um, smaller than Canelo. So that was a big advantage that Canelo had. But he's a lot faster than Billy Joe. He's got faster hands. He's got faster feet, right? And he, early on in that fight, was causing Canelo a lot of issues. But Canelo, right, at a certain point in that fight, made, make, started making Khan miss. Lara is a world-class southpaw. People say, well, Canelo hasn't fought. Lara's a better fighter than Billy Joe. Go check Lara's career. Lara was an unbelievable boxer. Unbelievable boxer, Lara was. This is what I mean. People don't really know their boxing when they come out with these kind of statements. For me, Lara was probably the greatest boxer, like pure boxer behind Floyd Mayweather. He was that good. He was that good in his prime. Lara was unbelievable. And and there was and, and Canelo went in there with him. And that was a close fight, by the way, against Lara. Don't get it twisted. But he made Lara miss in that fight. He, he, he was boxing with Lara and I thought Canelo nicked that fight. Canelo landed a lot of shots. He landed a lot of body shots. Lara was really, really good. And for me, Saunders, 
a lot of people say Saunders is very slick. Every fight, apart from the Lemieux fight that I've seen, and like I said, Lemieux was limited, right? Every fight that I've seen, Andy Lee, Chris Eubank, Martin Murray yesterday, Shifa Asufi, and Shifa Asufi was, shouldn't have even been fighting for a world title. They all caught Billy Joe Saunders. Do you honestly think, honestly think Canelo, who's the best pound for pound fighter in, the, in, in, in boxing, is not going to be able to catch Billy so Joe Saunders? Because this is what some of the, some of Billy Joe Saunders' fans or some of British fans think that, that Canelo's not going to be able to catch Billy Joe Saunders. Are, like, what are you smoking? Canelo Alvarez is an unbelievable counter puncher. He's one of the best body punchers in the game. He's so physically strong, it's unbelievable. He's got a granite chin. Billy Joe Saunders doesn't have any power to stop Canelo. Any power to stop Canelo in his tracks. Any power. How is he going to be able to stop Canelo? Canelo, the, what people don't understand, Canelo's an elite boxer just as well as an elite puncher. He's not just a, a puncher, he's a great boxer. And he could outbox not he could. I'm pretty certain. At a certain point in that fight, he will start out boxing Billy Joe Saunders. Canelo, it, listen. Canelo don't care if he loses a couple of rounds. You may win the battle against Canelo, winning a couple of rounds, but trust me, he will win the war. That's what Canelo does. Canelo, Canelo, Billy Joe can only fight one way in that fight. Canelo can fight many ways. Canelo can box. Canelo can start pressuring him. Canelo can start doing a lot of things in that fight. Canelo can fight going backwards. Canelo can fight going forwards. Billy Joe has to walk a tightrope in that fight. He has to box for 12 rounds immaculately. He can't stand in there and trade with him. He has to just box. He just has to box, box, box. But how's he going to... like? But Canelo's too good. He's too good. I'm telling you, like... It, it, as soon as... Like, I don't even think... I, I might be wrong here. And if I'm wrong, I'll hold my hands up. I think Andre beats Billy Joe Saunders. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I would favour Andre. I think it's a good fight and it's a close. But I think Andre. I would favour Andre in that fight. He's taller. He's longer. He's rangier. For me, he punches harder. Yes, Andre's resume isn't great. But like I said, I don't think Billy Joe Saunders' resume is great. Who's he really beat? What? Andy Lee? Andy Lee got beat by Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. But he got beat by Brian Vera. You know? Yes, he had a good win against Matt Korobov and he had a split this uh, draw, I believe, or a majority draw against um, uh, Peter Quillen. But apart from that, if you look at Andy, like, I, I think Andy Lee was a good fighter, but he wasn't exactly an elite level world champion. I don't believe he was. And David Lemieux, again, he was a good fighter, but he was destroyed by Golovkin before Billy Joe Saunders got in the ring with him. Golovkin beat the crap out of David Lemieux, outboxed him and knocked him out in that what, six, seven rounds. So, these are hardly, and Eubank, who's a decent fighter as well, but we saw Eubank beat by a more, a better version of Eubank, got beat by George Groves, quite convincingly. So, and, and, and George Groves beat Eubank a lot more convincingly than Saunders beat him. So, what, what I'm trying to say is that when you look at Saunders' resume, I know people go on like, Andre's not for anybody, but Saunders hasn't exactly got a stellar resume. He's he's not got a, he's not he's hardly got a resume like you know some of the top fighters we've had in Britain. He hasn't got a resume like Carl Froch or David Hay or Amir Khan or Carl Frampton. He hasn't got that. He hasn't got nowhere near. Of, I shouldn't even say their resume. Nowhere near their kind of resume. You know. So let's not make out like yeah Saunders has got some great resume and Andre's not fought. Yeah, Andre hasn't fought anyone really, but Saunders really hasn't fought anyone really at elite level so I, I don't think we should hate on Andre let's not forget Andre was gonna fight Billy Joe Saunders and Billy Joe Saunders failed a drugs test so let's not again I want to see Billy Joe fight Andre to be honest with you I think that's the fight Andre is the fight Andre is a, is a middleweight world champion if Andre wants to win, become a three-weight world champion move up to 168 I don't think it'll be a problem I don't think either guy I don't think Billy Joe Saunders is actually gonna is gonna be the bigger he might be a bigger guy Andre started off at 154 however Billy Joe Saunders for me isn't a big 168 I think he's I think at that weight I think his best weight is middleweight if I'm honest with you um, but if I was Andre I would move up to 168. If he can, I think it would move up to 168 and fight for the super middleweight title. It gives him an opportunity to win a third, 
world title in a third weight class. But I think they both need each other. I think Andre and Saunders need each other. And Canelo's going to fight, um, uh, what's his name? Callum Smith in December. He's not going to be ready for a fight in February with, you know, and he's going to fight in May. So is Billy Joe Saunders want to wait till May? I, and let's not forget, let's not forget, if Billy Joe Saunders doesn't fight or make a fight with Canelo or Andre in the next 10 days, he has to fight Zach Parker. So... For me, I, I, I want Billy Joe Saunders to fight Andre. We, we need to know how good Billy Joe Saunders is. Like, Billy Joe Saunders might be the truth. Maybe he steps up. But on his career so far and his performances so far, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think he beats Canelo at all. But Andre is the fight, is the middle fight. If he can beat Andre, then for me, then he's talking. That's a, that would be a great win if he can beat Andre. Which, like I said, I, I don't know who... We, I think that's a very close fight and I... I would slightly favour Andre just because of his height and his style. The fact that I think Andre's a bit more mean with his punches. Um, but again, it would be a great fight. But these are the kind of fights we want to see. We don't want to see Billy Joe Saunders. And no disrespect to Martin Murray. I've actually been a big fan of Martin Murray. I think Martin Murray's a very good fighter. But Martin Murray's 38 years of age. You know, we need to see Billy Joe in there with good names now. Big names like Andre, like Charlo, like Canelo, like... Danny Jacobs, like, you know, guys of that level, guys of that level, not, not Martin Murray, who's way, way past his prime now, you know, good fighter in his day, but past his prime, we need, we need to see Billy Joe Saunders fight the top guys, um, let's see if, if, if we get it, in fact, I think, I think they need to make that fight with Andre ASAP, Andre would want it, Andre wants that fight, you know, I'm pretty sure that Liam Williams can wait and get the winner of that fight in next May, uh, but, you know, and maybe Andre vacates and fights Billy Joe at super middleweight. Who knows? Maybe Andre vacates and says, you know what? I'll fight at super middleweight. Canelo's fighting at both weights because whoever wins that fight would be in line for a Canelo fight, wouldn't they? So Andre potentially could vacate the middleweight title and go and fight Billy Joe Saunders at 168. I, I don't know why he couldn't do that. He's won a world title at middleweight already. Why don't you go and fight for a, a, a super middleweight world title at 168? So I don't think the Liam Williams fight is... Exactly a fight that, you know, we can hold him back. If he, if, if, if he feels that he can't fight, he, he has to vacate the belt to, in order to fight Billy Joe Saunders, do it. Because he'd be fighting for another world title against Saunders anyway. You know? But then, Andre may also feel... I don't know. I don't know. I, I just think it's a fight that Andre, Andre should be made next in February. I think if, if Andre has to vacate his middleweight title, vacate it and go up to 168. Andre has said that he can move up to 168. For a fight, so let's make it happen. Um, you know, enough's enough of all, all the the politics and stopping these fights happening. Andre and Billy Joe Saunders is a great fight and a fight that we all want to see. Hopefully, Eddie Hearn can make it happen because that's that's the fight really. Uh, especially now that we've got the news that Billy Joe Saunders, if he doesn't fight, um, you know, doesn't make a fight with Canelo or Andre in the next ten days, then he has to fight Zach Parker, which again, people aren't going to be very happy about. So leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think Billy Joe Saunders can beat uh, Canelo? In my opinion, I think Canelo would win that fight by stoppage. But I want to know all your opinions. I want to know what you guys think uh, would happen in that fight. I want to know whether uh, you think Billy Joe Saunders can beat Canelo. Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.